and what you have to pay for what service. That is key. Uh, about two years ago, I addressed an audience in a large conference in Berlin uh, under the title, Welcome in a World Without Interchange. Forget about interchange, it's finished. Uh, interchange was there to create a payment system to come from an innovative product and service into a mature market. Well, it has done its job. With over 900 million, uh, sorry, with over 1.5 billion cardholders worldwide, 900 million is Maestro, uh, that's the largest chunk, but with 1.5 billion cardholders worldwide, you do not have an innovative um, a pioneering phase anymore, you have a mature market. And we see that um, um, the regulator in Europe um, is definitely getting more, in, more into the idea that retailers will be asked to no longer surcharge, that payment systems will ask to no longer adopt a scheme of interchange, but that we will come to a charging procedure. That is, that the merchant will clearly mention at the bottom of the sales slip, or at the transaction time, this is what the cost is for you, consumer, using this particular product. And I guess prepaid will be less expensive than credit or platinum. Well, that will be mentioned. Okay, when we, let's have a look whether there are any other things here, yeah, uh, I think um, Chris also mentioned about apps, who will take over, uh, we see clearly that the current chip on the card was moving, the first chips were used in the early 90s, from a chip with little capacity to a chip with loads of capacity, all the applications were downloaded onto the chip. Now again we see a move to a chip who has a radio um, in frequency capability and who will be able to call into service applications like payments. And risk management and fraud which because of the crisis have moved into becoming a top three priority in the banks before it wasn't. Uh, are, are, man, uh, are now uh, critical components. And we also see that uh, in terms of payments and cards, the current uh, solutions are really outdated. A uh, couple of words about the global schemes. Um, we think that um, effectively the um, growth will continue, uh, but because there will be new schemes coming along, uh, in major countries, the international payment schemes will uh, lose share in the uh, global volume. And um, <coughs> plastic cards will be faded out. Uh, who, what will be the new carrier, we don't know exactly. Maybe it will be the mobile phone, maybe it will be an application, um, as mentioned. Um, you know that both MasterCard and Visa are facing enormous claims in the US, a total of, I, I've, I have counted a total of $180 billion in claims. Um, a distinguished colleague of mine, Duncan McDonald, former legal counselor of Citibank, counted a total of $540 billion. In fact, it doesn't really matter, once it's beyond $50 billion, both MasterCard and Visa will be bankrupt. So the question will then be, will the government, will the US allow those two companies to go bankrupt? Can they afford them to go bankrupt? I don't believe so, I don't think so. So what's left over? Well, the only other possibility is the ones who make the claim, essentially the US retailers take over. Another thing which really damaged the global payment systems is what I call the revenge of Julian Assange, the uh, owner or creator or main brain behind Wikileaks, uh, without going into the details whether Wikileaks was a good thing to happen or not. When it happened, the US government asked the banks and MasterCard and Visa to block the accounts of Julian Assange. 
Imagine that uh, tomorrow, I don't know why, but President Obama would ask MasterCard and Visa to block payments in Russia. We need to take that into account. So, I'm not going to go to, uh, through these slides uh, here, but having said that, let's, let's have a look at if we adopt those base principles being uh, the identification of a citizen is not a task of a retailer, of a bank, or of a casino, but a public task. And if we want everyone to participate to this economy, what do we have to put in place? Um, it is uh, a great pleasure for me to see and hear over, these, uh, uh, over yesterday and also this morning that in Russia already a number of projects have been put in place to uh, effectively look into this. Um, like it was mentioned, um, the new card